You know tradition, we have to run. Okay, we're at our destination. Arrived. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for staying tuned, if you're staying tuned. Um, this is part two of the Ridgecrest West slash Ridgecrest East dorm tour. In the first video, I did a tour of like the actual building and the backyard area, all the amenities and stuff like that. But now we get into the exciting stuff and we're actually going inside the dorm rooms and you're gonna get to see what it looks like and how I've been living for the past nine months. If you're new here, my name is Samuel Alvarez. I am a freshman at the University of Alabama, I was a freshman. I finished my last day of freshman year today, actually this morning. So super excited about that. Summer is on and before I packed everything up and moved out of the dorms, I figured that I would continue this dorm tour because I made a move-in video at the beginning of the year and it became very popular. A lot of people were asking me to make an actual dorm tour. And I even said like at the end of the video, I was like, dorm tour coming soon. Nine months. Better late than never, right? All right, so now we are actually going into the dorm room. We are on the fourth floor of Ridgecrest West. And like I said in the last video, Ridgecrest West and East are pretty much the same building. By the time you see this video, I'll already be moved out. So I can go ahead and tell you that I live on the fourth floor of Ridgecrest West. I'm at the University of Alabama. And I live in room 417, all the way at the end of the hall, right here. Uh, and actually, before we go in, each room comes with a mechanical room. You don't really need to mess with that. But um, it also comes with like a little storage closet that you unlock using your dorm key that you get in with. And it's a pretty spacious area. Um, in here, we just got rid of a TV stand because we got our own TV stand and um, the TV box other boxes that we don't really have a purpose for while we're still living here and it locks by itself. It's unlocked from the inside so if you happen to get the door shut on you while you're inside there you can get out. You don't have to worry about that. So you get your own key. Your own key. So you unlock it as you do with regular dorms and you come in and this is my living room area. So actually everything like brown wooden that you see then it came with the dorm so like this came with the dorm that brown wood this brown wood came with the dorm uh the chairs right here at the kitchen table and the table um came with the dorm this little table this little coffee table came with the dorm and these two chairs came with the dorm um it comes with blinds i was planning on filming this during the day so we could get some really good natural light in here because it does let in a lot of sunlight, at least where we are our window position and it really brights up the whole thing. The white walls really make it look really good. As I mentioned earlier, it came with the brown TV stand that was in that closet, but we ended up getting a 50 inch flat screen TV. That one couldn't hold it. These legs were like hanging off of the stand and so I was like, mm, probably not a good idea. We need to go get our own TV stand. So lucky for me, I have this black TV stand at home. This TV is a 50 inch Roku TCL TV. And then we actually got this Samsung soundbar and um, subwoofer down here to where when we watch movies, it'll really like immerse you in the movie. That's what they say like at the beginning of the movie theaters when they're talking about the D-Box, the light chairs that move with the movies, like be completely immersed in the movies or something like that. Under here we have a few card games, we have the voting game, which is super fun to play with friends. If you've never played this game, you should go check it out. And then we have this game called Incoherent. I love this game so much, it's so much fun. And then uh, I got a DVD player because as much as I love like streaming, I love like DVDs and like the old style stuff, which I mean like I know the old style is like tapes, the new old style. So DVDs, love DVDs. We have a public library right down the road and they have like any DVD you could think of. And so I go there all the time and I rent movies for free and I watch them on this DVD player. And then as you also see here, I brought my Wii from home. The Wii remote's here, the nunchucks are back there. And I have some Wii games here. This is just a bag that I keep some media stuff in. And then we have a blanket down here. Um, if you're ever watching the beer playing on the couch and get cold, I don't know. And then also I got these lights, I have one there 
and one there. I got them from Walmart. They were like literally 10, $12 each. So it's super cheap, but they really like bring this whole place together, if that makes sense. They really do. It makes it like more home style because the lights kind of give off like the school vibe, like the classroom vibe, if you know what I mean. And then I just have this candle, which by the way, at the University of Alabama candles, candle warmers, etc., are not allowed in the dorms. So for legal purposes, I do not like that candle. It's just for decorations. And over here, we have a candle warmer that's definitely not on. Moving on, we have this area over here. Here's the thermostat um, You can set it to whatever temperature you want. It has heating, cooling, does a great job. All right, and then you get into the kitchen. The kitchen comes with a microwave, full-size refrigerator and freezer. Um, it comes with a sink and plenty of cabinets and drawers and storage things. And here we just have silverware, and here we have our cups and bowls. And here I keep my food. There's not really a point in me showing you that. I have a blender here. Um, if I ever decide to make a smoothie or the milkshake or anything like that. And we keep our plastic bags up there so that when I finally go take them to be recycled, they'll just all be in one place. Oh, and then we have the trash can. Oh, and right here, we have the lovely couple, Zach McBride and Maddie Dooley, soon to be McBride. They are two of my close friends here at the University of Alabama. I had to put their wedding invitation on the fridge because I'm a good friend. All right, so then you come down the hallway and this is where the magic happens. You have four bedrooms in Richard's West and East. There's A, B, C, and then D at the very end of the hall. And then it comes with two bathrooms and two sinks. So A and B will split this bathroom and C and D will split this bathroom. Share, not split, share. And in the bathrooms, let's see, every time I, it takes, I don't know if you saw that. Did you see the light flicker? The light flickers every time you come in here. And so sometimes I'll shut the door too fast and the light will still not be on because sometimes it takes a while for it to turn on. So sometimes I just kind of feel like somebody's gonna like jump out of the shower while the lights are off and come get me or something like that. I don't know. Toilet, toilet paper, cabinets, if you need anything. Behind here, there's a towel hanging area. The university provides the white shower curtain, but I added an extra one so I could have like two layers, you know. And then you get to the sink area, and um, just has a sink, cabinets, toothbrush up here, so, and then the rest of my toiletries are in the cabinet. Oh, <laughs> can you see? This yeah. is Carolina, my sister, who is my favorite person in the entire world. Oh, um, uh, Jesus. My second favorite person in the entire world because Jesus is my favorite person. Thank you for correcting me on that. So I lived in. Richcrest West 417D. So whoever lives here next year, just know that the coolest person to ever walk the earth besides Jesus lived here. I'm just kidding. Just like you got a key to open the front door, you get a key um, to open your own bedrooms to where if you ever leave, you don't trust your roommates, you can lock your door, you'll be fine. Come on in. And um, it has kind of like that school light vibey weird thing. If you're moving in at the university, I don't know how the rest of the dorms are, but at Ridgecrest West, the beds are not the most comfortable. So I definitely recommend getting a memory foam mattress topper or some type of mattress topper to make it a little more comfy. I have some pillows, um, one of the pillows with the arms on it, a neck pillow. Under here, I have my dresser, tops, bottoms, pajamas, and other things. Um, and then under here, I have one of my Bibles and just some book set up and reading. Okay, and then down here I actually have um, my paddle, I guess it's called. I got it in my fraternity. If you haven't seen my uh, I'm joining a fraternity video, you should go check it out. But um, at initiation, we got these paddles and it says spring 2021 on it because that's when I rushed. Um, Beta Upsilon Chi, that's fraternity I'm in. The logo, um, my big brother, his name is Trey, super cool dude. Cross, cause we love Jesus. Um, Little brother, Samuel, that's me, and Alpha Iota chapter, because that's the chapter that is here at the University of Alabama. So I just keep that down here. Also, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it smells bomb. I don't even need an air freshener in my room because it makes my room smell so good. Under here, I just have my derby clothes hamper. And back there, I just have a shoe box with chargers and different cords in it. Okay, and then you come over here to the window. This window, the curtains and the banner and all that stuff took me so freaking long to set up because I could not get the curtain rods to work. But I finally got it up, um, blackout curtains. Those are so helpful. If you're moving into a dorm, you need blackout curtains because sometimes you just gotta sleep in and when the sun comes up, you do not want it in your room. Roll Tide, University of Alabama banner. 
an upset. Okay, over here we have this picture frame. Everybody always thinks that it's my girlfriend. Um, no, it's not my girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. If you want to be my girlfriend, hit me up. I just haven't put a picture in it and that's like the default picture. That actually is my girlfriend. Her name is Default Image. She's pretty cool. You should meet her one day. You've probably seen her before at many different stores. She's always at stores for some reason. I got this because I got invited to go to prom with one of my friends, Katie. Super fun, so glad I got to go. Here's just a Bama cup that I have. Um, it has a calculator in it, an adapter I need because I have a MacBook Pro and Apple decided to take away all of the USB ports, so I need that. I have this banner that says, where legends are made. On the other side it says, roll tide. This is a little squishy monster I got. Every week on um, my fraternity, they have something called brother of the week. Sometimes you get picked to be the brother of the week and it's like an honorable mention. I don't really know what it is to be honest, but I got brother of the week one week and they give everybody one of these squishy monsters. I'm so blessed to be considered the brother of the week. I have this random teddy bear, the university. I have this Amazon Echo Dot. It has dust on it because for whatever reason, as you will probably figure out if you move in to Ridgecrest West or Ridgecrest East, I cannot for the life of me get this thing to connect to the internet here. So um, if you figure it out, good for you, congratulations. I already be out of here by then, so won't really do me any good, but good luck if you're trying to have any Amazon devices in here because they will not connect to the internet. I guess it's just decoration. And then finally I have this organizer thing for desk. It has pens, pencils, scissors. Back there I have like a little plug outlet hub thing, I guess, where I just have all of my chargers. I have my Apple Watch charger, iPad charger, phone charger, and MacBook charger. This chair, not the most comfortable chair, but I didn't feel like paying extra money to get a new one. So this is a chair, it rocks. Literally, <laughs> if you like leaning back in your chair. Although one time, right after I got shoulder surgery, I was still in a sling and I leaned back too far in this and flipped backwards out of the chair, landed on top of the piano, not good. And I just laid on the floor for a while because it hurt so bad. Pride and joy of my room, my piano. It is the Alesis, Alesis recital. Super good, go check it out if you want to. I just got it off of Amazon. This chair that I've had for so long. I have my fan that um, I cannot sleep without. I like sleeping in the cold, but the main reason I have this fan is because of the sound. I love the sound it makes. Rubik's Cube, um, Devotion Book, another Bible. These two Nathan W. Pyle books. I love these books so much. Another candle that for legal purposes I do not ever light. And a cup of random things like ponytail holders and batteries. And the well, which is where I go to church on Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights. If you're in Tuscaloosa, you should check out Calvary Baptist Church. Great place. And over here is where I keep my keys, wallet, any other things that I usually need right before I'm about to leave. Masks are usually right here too. Underwear and socks and two bottom things are just random things. And then you get this great closet. It has lots of shelves, so lots of hanging space. I have all my shoes down there, pants, belt, all my hoodies and sweatshirts, two cases and bags. And that's pretty much it. I had Carolina like back up so you can get like a good perspective of how much room is in the room. It's Richmond West, the dorms, like they have a decent amount of space. Like I can do this all I want. I got plenty of room in here. If you're worried about not having a lot of room, it's definitely not like a mansion, but you have room. You'll be fine. Lots of plug outlets everywhere. I did not really mention that. There's plug outlets everywhere. There's one right there, one right there. Uh, one behind there. I think there's one in that corner and then there's one there too. Plug outlets everywhere. Um, and then back here, I just have my fleece robe that I wear when it's cold. My hair is frizzy. Why did y'all not tell me my hair was frizzy? I can tell you one of my roommates moved out. Actually, all of my roommates moved out and went back home. But one of them left their doors unlocked so you can check out. This is like what an empty room looks like for the most part. Um, he actually had the bed raised. I don't know if it costs money or not, but somehow you can request a riser your bed to get a little higher and you can fit your desk and everything under there. Window, I don't think I talked about my window out there, but the window facing out, love it. You can see like everything. I love people watching. That sounds creepy. Sometimes I'll just be at my desk like doing work and I'll just get distracted just watching people go about their day. And then he also actually, he ordered this thing online and it's like this thing that goes under the door because there is some space under the door. So a little bit of the sound comes through even if the door is shut, but he got the thing. Um, you can like shove it under the door and it blocks out sound. All right, well, I think that's it. So, the long awaited nine month late Ridgecrest West dorm tour. Here you go, there you have it. All right, well, 
hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to comment and subscribe. Also, make sure to... If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to comment and subscribe down below because that would just be awesome. If you watched it all the way to this point, comment Roll Tide because the University of Alabama is the best university in the entire country. It just is. And as always, Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Happy summer.